Hello, my name is Stephen Poratch, Director of Business Strategy at Hitachi Cable America. We're going to talk about power over four pair LAN cables, understanding the LP classification. Our brief agenda, the evolution of power over Ethernet, or PoE, what is the LP classification, and how are cables tested. Power over Ethernet was introduced in 2003 primarily to support voice over IP phones. The standard, IEEE 802.3AF, defined the supply of 15 watts of power to the device. Six years later, in 2009, 802.3AT doubled that supply. In early 2018, 802.3BT will introduce two new power levels, Type 3 for 60 watts and Type 4 for 100 watts. This will significantly increase the type of device that will utilize PoE. What started out as an option for powering phones will now power cameras, wireless access points, and even entire building lighting systems. Increasing the power per device and increasing the number of devices, coupled with the industry standard practice of cable bundling, is a cause of concern. All this power generates heat within the bundle and may increase the temperature of the cables above their maximum operating temperature, contributing to actual cable degradation. Recognizing this potential problem, UL, after significant lab testing, proposed the LP designation. LP stands for limited power and defines a cable's ability to support power without exceeding its maximum operating temperature. So how does UL test a cable for LP designation? The test rig, as seen in the picture to the right, is a 6-foot non-metallic conduit with 192 cables placed within. The conduit has insulation on both ends to prevent heat loss. And there are thermocouples placed inside the bundle to record temperature. A current is then applied to each pair, inducing a temperature rise. The temperature rise, above ambient temperature, in the middle of the bundle is recorded as the amperage is increased. This continues until the overall temperature exceeds the maximum operating temperature of the cable. The maximum operating temperature of the cable is defined by the cable manufacturer. This defines the temperature above which the cable will degrade and no longer perform. It is required this temperature be indicated in the cable markings as seen in the picture below. Using the simple formula here, the LP designation can be determined. Start with a maximum ambient temperature of 45 degrees C. Add the resulting temperature rise from the test. If the sum is below the maximum operating temperature of the cable, then the cable can support the indicated amperage. If the sum of the two is above the maximum operating temperature, then the cable cannot support that amperage. Here are two examples of a cable with a maximum operating temperature of 75 degrees. 0.5 amps are applied to each conductor resulting in a temperature rise of 20 degrees C. Adding the ambient temperature of 45 degrees plus the 20 degrees equals 65 degrees which is below the 75 degree maximum operating temperature. This is a pass. Next, 0.6 amps are applied to the same cable resulting in a 35 degree temperature rise. This plus the 45 degree ambient temperature exceeds the 75 degree maximum operating temperature and results in a failure. In this case, the cable has an LP.5 rating. As you can see from the chart, 0.5 amps per conductor at 50 volts is equal to 100 watts. Every 0.1 amp is equal to 20 watts. So the cable from the preceding slide with an LP.5 rating can support 100 watts of power without any degradation of the cable. If you have any questions, please contact your local Hitachi Cable America representative or call us at 800-772-0116. Thank you very much.